Bloodstream. Okay, Beast in Black. Anton. Hello. How are you? All good. How are you? Um, long time not seen in the UK or first time UK. What's your story? No, we've been here a few times. Yes. Uh, supporting, uh, was it uh, Rhapsody and then Glory Hammer and with Nightwish. And now finally on our own headline. Headliner. Run. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Gone well. Yeah. Good, good. Sold out shows, as I saw yeah, yeah, yeah. on the poster. I think all of them are. I'm not sure about the last one yet that's to come, but all the show, shows so far have been sold out here. So. Very well, very well. Well, I'm not surprised because the, the album you released um, in 21, actually. Yeah. yeah. So that's, this is actually the supporting tour now, is it? Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there was a little two hour, two years something going on. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> changed things, touring plans and all that stuff. But yeah, um, the most important thing is we are now. Dark are Connection. Yeah. What's a Dark Connection? You, the composer. So what was the inspiration? for? Well, basically cyberpunk uh, as the genre was something that I was familiar with already back in the days uh, in my Battle Beast years when I was writing the first and the second album. Those had a lot of cyberpunk influences. Then it kind of stopped there. I had other stuff. And then I thought with this album, hey, I haven't done cyberpunk uh, influenced and inspired um, the lyrics. And this time also music videos were like cyberpunk influenced, heavily influenced by that. And it just felt like I'm going back to something that I, I'm interested in, like the films, literature and uh, art, like this sci-fi stuff. And that was kind of the thing. But then there's this uh, anime called Armitage the Third, and that was kind of the main uh, inspiration, <clears throat> how it started. And then, of course, Blade Runner, the film, uh, was major influence. You like the, the, what's it called? What's it called? The, the, uh, the mo movie you just mentioned? It? Blade Runner. The Blade Runner. You like it? Yeah, yeah, I like it. The one that came in 82. Yes. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's... By Ridley Scott. Yes, 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 yes. I like him too, actually, yeah. matter of fact. It's a very good movie. Dark, good movie. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, um, you from Finnish, right? From Finland? Yeah, we're like Finnish based band. Finnish based band, Helsinki. Yeah. Uh, founded in 2015. Um, everybody can find it on the Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm getting some yeah, info yeah. <laughs> information yeah. here as well. Um, what is the, what is the, um, how was actually, let's go back to the dark phase, you know, the last two years. How difficult for you guys was those two, two years? didn't really like affect me at all. I've never suffering from boredom, basically. There's always something to do. I thought, okay, we're not touring. I'm going to focus on making music. Mm -hmm. Even if we would have lockdown for the rest of our lives, I would not be suffering from like not being able to tour. I'd be just, yeah, I'm just going to stay home and write stuff. Of course, I've, you got to have some income from somewhere. but. But I mean, like, it's a necessity, you know, music is something that I can't live without. So there's always a way so you, somehow to make okay. it part of my life, no matter so lockdown or open world, whatever. So it's, it's, uh, it's part of your life. Yeah. So that means, so we can wait for another album soon. Maybe not so soon. <laughs> I wish I could, like, promise that. But since we are touring so much, uh, I don't know when there's going to be enough time to... Well, the thing is that I have lots of like music written already from years ago, but the process goes like that, that I have to dive to my old songs, listen to them through and like filtering process. And that takes a lot of time. And then I often combine old songs with each other. Like, and sometimes I come up with new ideas and combine those with old songs. And, you know, that, that takes time. And, the, but the biggest, uh, you know, uh, takes time is the lyric writing for me always. I, I'm ter terrible at that. Like, but I keep just forcing myself to write something that I'm happy with, and then it turns out to be good. But mm -hmm. I don't have like a natural talent with writing lyrics. I just okay. force myself. Okay. Uh, and until it, until it's really like good, 
until and you're happy with it. Yeah, and then I know, okay, this is really good lyric in my opinion, but you know, a talented person can write, let's say, same level lyric like much faster than I. So that's not my strength, but I still want to make it like as good as possible. So the level of it is matching the music in my own opinion. So, so who is the first one you, you get uh, you get listen to your stuff? And the band members usually, but I don't know. I don't even think it, it doesn't matter to me. Like who's so, the first one who listens? So I just so try you it. like it, you like it, and then you just present it to the band. And they... yeah, I usually like choose from 15 to 20 songs which I've managed to somehow filter through all those hundreds and like more than thousand like ideas and songs what I have and then I'm okay now it's narrowed down to 15 or 20 and usually it's like that um, what uh, what do you what do you listen when you travel on a bus between between venues uh, I, my, what are you doing? Yeah, well, I like to play guitar. Like, maybe the camera doesn't show that there's my setup here. I have a sound card computer and I plug this guitar in and play, and there's a Eurobeat playlist for me. Oh, like, uh, okay. Italo Disco, Eurobeat, that's the stuff. Okay. What I listen to daily when I warm up. Okay. So that's, uh, this, is, this is what you're listening to up to get, get, uh, get uh, before the show yeah okay yeah. Um, is any is any book you like do you read do you have time yeah to actually books? I still haven't finished it I'm like 30 pages are still unread uh, George Lucas's uh, biography mm -hmm. I forgot who was the writer it's not written by George himself but mm -hmm. uh, that's really interesting I love like I'm a movie geek, and mm -hmm, that's why mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm. to read books yes. about film directors and their life and their career. Uh -huh. And the great thing is that he also like made these sci-fi films. Um, the journey is really fascinating. How he was pioneering the whole cinema, mm -hmm. and, and when you find and discover these stories from these uh, great ones like George Lucas. You, you see, like, hey, he also started from, from, like, the idea that he had and passion, and he just worked on it when he was nobody. But he just had the vision, he followed it, and, like, had to make many sacrifices. But it's a commitment you have to make. Whether you become a movie director or a composer, you cannot stray from the path. Well, I'll do this, like, 90% and then 10% something else. No, there are others or hungry to become composers or movie directors and they put 100% into it. If you don't do the same, you're not going to last. You're going to lose that. So you got to go all the way in. And after you like, hopefully become successful and you have established yourself, and then you can have some like uh, break from your main thing, what you've been doing. For example, James Cameron was mm -hmm. my favorite director. You know, yeah. he made fortunes with his films. And then after Avatar, actually before Avatar, he was already making documentaries. And then after that, he and his team uh, built a submarine like for him, basically, because he wanted to dive to the deepest part of the Earth, uh, Mariana Trench. And he went there. It cost millions. Just It was his hobby. That's when you can do it, but not while you're like in the beginning of your career. I'm not saying it that I don't want to do like music. Of course, that's something I always will do, and so forth. But you know, when you make a commitment, just stick with that and like don't give back an inch. Otherwise, you will not make it. Interesting philosophy. All right, let's go back to the tour. So, a couple tours uh, uh, passed uh, in the UK. Um, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much certain they all been sold out. Um, why do you think it's so so popular? Do you think that it's the music or is it? I think it's everything. You know, it's Are people hungry for music lately. It's never just one thing. You know, music is the core. You know, it all has to build around the you know songs. But if that core is not 
solid and like strong and interesting enough you know other stuff around it will like sooner or later will like fade out collapse you know but if the solid is strong then you just add layers and layers around it with hard work like stage production music videos promo pictures interviews and and first of all uh you know after the songs that most important thing is that band's performance live of course mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's all that and the Behind the scenes, you know, we have a great team. Like, and our, our bass player Mate, he does a lot of that kind of organizing thing and talking. Like, kind of, you know, he cares a lot of this. Uh, we made in the beginning this deal that okay, I'll focus on the artistic side as much as I can, and he will take care of the uh, non-musical things, basically, mm -hmm. which helps a lot. You know, I wouldn't want to. You know, every day talk with like booking agencies and management about like business stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and the routing of the next tour and stuff like that. Yes. It's, it's, there are people for that, and yes. he helps a lot with that and many other things. Yeah, with, without, without them, I don't yeah, think so. Management, booking person. agency, and like Mate. And, mm. So those things matter. A lot also. So why don't we mention the who is actually behind what uh, what label is uh, you guys you under and uh, who is the booking agency? Yeah, we are uh, with Nuclear Blast. That's a record label and uh, Contra Promotion does the European uh, booking. And then in Finland we have Full Steam Agency and in the US I think it was uh, Nick Storch was the person who is booking us there. And <coughs> so big thanks goes to all these like parties and people. So you have a supporting band on this tour? Yeah, Firewind, Firewind. Uh, special guests, and they're really great guys, like, you know, great musicians and easy to hang out with, like, down to earth guys. And um, any other supporting bands on this tour? No, no. Just two, yeah. just, uh, just, just, just them, yeah. Yes. Um, so basically, uh, Beast in Black can be found on any social media. Uh, for the for the uh, fans who like to uh, buy a purchase, have not the not the um, opportunity to see you at one of the shows. But there's a many shows. If you go, <laughs> it's, this is just the upcoming shows. Yeah, pick your favorite. It's and it's a, and it's a past ones. If you just click on the past shows, <laughs> there's a pretty much the same list. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's absolutely crazy. So if you just go on a web, on the a beast, uh, beast in Black and website, you just see it's absolutely amazing. So um, London, London, uh, Birmingham, Bristol, I think it was a Bristol in the UK, Birmingham actually, London, Birmingham, Bristol, and yeah. uh, Manchester, Glasgow, Dublin. So that's, uh, that's the UK part of it. And then obviously there will be Germany and many, many. Even Czech Republic, I'm from Czech Republic, by okay, the way. Yeah. Krakow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And many, many. Tokyo, even big, big, big fans in Tokyo. They like music. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add, Anton, before I let you go? Did just, you forget you know, something? No, I just want to thank everyone, like all the fans uh, who, who have given the support for us, like, and especially all those who came to the shows. It wasn't taken for, for granted that it's going to be this successful, this tour. So big thanks for that. And just stay hungry for more Beast in Black music. It will come, but I can't promise how soon or how late. We do our <laughs> best. First, we have to do the gigs. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I just, I just see that you know, it's sold out. Yeah. Not just the show, sold out. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised. Um, haven't seen you live yet, but I'm... Uh, I'm hoping I will, this will be a very very good show. All right, thank you very much, Anton. Thank, thank you, you very much for your time, right. for, the, for the interview, um, to see me. And uh, this will be live, uh, live on Radio Bloodstream soon, on radioblastream.com and YouTube channel. Radio, radio, not radio, it's a Bloodstream TV, actually. So. All right. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bloodstream.